It is with some irony that 1960 would be such an important year in fire history, because around the country, 1960 was a pivotal year for civil rights. All around America, a movement was starting to gain momentum, and there was little that could stand in the way of the power of its purpose. In Montgomery, Alabama, blacks march on municipal buildings in support of lunch counter sit-ins. In Washington, D.C., youth march on our nation's capital in support of integrated schools. A southern department store refuses lunch counter service to black students. Warnings of arrest, jail, and violence are issued. At that time, on the road at that time, this was in the early 1960s, of course, we were heavily influenced by the civil rights movement on every campus across the country at the time. This is 1959, 60, 61, 62, 63. So this is at the height of this whole thing, and uh, height of the civil rights movement and the marches in Selma and the Martin Luther King's march speech down in Washington, D.C. in 63. I became acutely aware when, when we went to St. Louis and we were basically told that uh, we had to separate. My junior year we played St. Louis University in St. Louis and it was very prejudiced there and uh, for, we all stayed together which I give Joe a lot of credit because I, I had met Oscar Robinson and I knew that his teams when they played in the south some places he had to stay at a separate hotel and I don't think I could have done that. I, I'd quit the team first, but, but he dealt with it, you know, and, and, and to his credit. Uh, but, but that's when I began to see it, you know, when we traveled south. But when we got to New York City, it was totally different, uh, you know. And of course, we had so many York, New Yorkers on the team, and Joe was from New York, and all that. There, there was a, it was a totally different atmosphere.